All right, so this is a finger picking warm up, finger style guitar, classical guitar, a lot of different styles of finger picking. This is a really great way to start. So there's another finger picking course that I have that you can check out on YouTube, but let's start with this one. What we want to do is let the hand hang completely loose. So the wrist is, is loose like if you're going to, to skip a rock, there's no tension in the wrist. So let it fall asleep. There's a slight curling of the fingers when we pluck, but there's no tension in the wrist. The wrist just hangs loose over the guitar and then the fingers will gently curl, kind of swinging from the large knuckle as if this was a swing, a swing set and the swing set is the top of the knuckle, um, like the top of a swing set. And the fingers swing from there. So try not to move the hand when you're finger picking um, in this style. We don't want these large knuckles or the hand moving around while we're picking. We just want the fingers to be swinging in and out as the hand hangs loose. So there's a curl, kind of like a very loose swinging. It's not a tense squeezing, it's just a gentle swinging. So we'll do the fingers individually and then we'll also gently swing them. Let's not say squeeze because it's not a muscle tension thing, it's a very relaxed swinging motion. Um, and the thumb you'll notice is off to the side so that they don't run into the fingers. So it's not tense thumbs up, but it's sort of a relaxed thumb to the side. And I often think of it like the button, just like with the pick video, the thumb can sometimes go all the way through and you imagine it going into your finger. Now when we pick, it usually doesn't do that, but we can try that in the video. Just very relaxed, not no force of any kind. Relaxation is the most important thing. Um, and everyone's hands a little different. So make sure you're relaxed and you're swinging, not squeezing, and that the thumb's not in the way because the swing will get and hit the fingers if it's in the way. So thumb off to the side in a relaxed way, like you're, you were holding an airplane remote and the thumb presses on the side and the fingers swing in like they're not squeezing hard, but gently sort of swinging in. Like a, an Atari remote or something. If you're gaming, you've got your thumb button and you've got your finger swinging in. But it, remember, it's not hard. You need to be fast and relaxed or slow, but whatever, whether it's fast or slow, we want it to be relaxed so it's smooth, right? Smooth at a slow speed or smooth at a fast speed. So here we go, Hang, making sure it's hanging loose. Allow the fingers to curl, not squeeze, to curl. So the very tip of the finger plants on the string. We don't want to get deep inside the string. Pink, pick depth or finger depth is where we often get stuck. So just planting on the top of the string. And very relaxed with a little bit of a curl. And the thumb, you'll notice, is off to the side. So the thumb doesn't tuck in behind the fingers. The thumb's a bit forward, right? But not extended tense, because we need to keep it relaxed. So we're relaxed, leaning forward. And you'll notice the thumb likes to sort of pluck at a bit of an angle. So the very edge of the thumb is what hits that string there. And the fingers will often, when they're finger picking, hit the side of the finger as well. And there's different angles we use to go through the string smoothly. So we often, with this style, don't go straight in to the string. We kind of go a bit on the side of the fingers, which is like a pick angling, but it's sort of a finger angle, which reduces resistance. Um, so, but don't do it in a forced way, do it in a relaxed way. So you'll end up having sometimes a bit of an, uh, a shape that looks like this. Fingers curled and relaxed, plucking on the side, 
the thumb, curled and relaxed, plucking on this side. Let's see if we can give some angles. See how I'm hanging loose? I'm not pressing it down because that usually causes tension. I'm going to let this hang loose for this style of playing. You see how I've got the fingers. You can plant them on the first three strings. And we don't want to go too deep inside. Underneath the string, you get stuck. So just as far as the string is, no deeper. So if you imagine that this surface is your ocean, you're just surfing on top of the ocean. Maybe as deep as the string, but definitely not underneath the string, or you're going to get stuck. Right? So we want to watch that finger depth. It's just surfing the top of those strings. So we're going to practice a few different techniques now. The thumb, we're going to practice very gently from the edge of the thumb, plucking. Very relaxed. This is called a free stroke because we pluck freely away from the string underneath it. Like that. A rest stroke is if you're to pick through and plant on the string below. That's not what we're doing with this video. We're, we're doing free strokes, T-rando. That's what they call it, where you pluck and brush outward. And notice that we're not bending the knuckle like this. We're going to be plucking from the large joint there. our free stroke. So you want to practice that. And notice I'm, with this technique, planting my three fingers on the first three strings. So the ring finger, middle finger, index finger. Bass players sometimes call this finger one, finger two, and finger three. So the three fingers are on the three small strings, and the thumb we're going to use to pluck the three big strings. So let's practice our warm-up. Big string, relaxed, plucking, free stroke. And we're going to try the string below it. That's the A string or the fifth string. Very relaxed. Just not going deep underneath, but just the side of the thumb. Try not to get underneath the string, just maybe just as deep as the string. You can experiment. It takes a bit of plucking, right? It's all about practice. So the more you do it, the more you'll find that sort of comfortable spot that you can pluck through the string and not get stuck, but still get enough sound. So that's free thumb plucking. And the string below it. Now, if, if you feel tense or sore, stop immediately. Shake your hand out, replant the curl, part of the wrist hangs loose, thumb on the fifth string, plucking into your hand. Then the string below it, plant the thumb there. Very relaxed, the most gentle and relaxed feel you can get with this. Let's try to show what this looks like here. Different angles. You'll see our thumb is plucking these big strings. So sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string. So we'll just practice those. Six, fifth, and fourth. Six, Fifth, fourth, sixth string, fifth string. <laughs> I hope this isn't disorienting. I'm trying to give different angles here to show you guys. Big string, beside the big string, and then beside that big string. So these are the three big strings we're going to use for thumb picking. Let me see the angle. Curled fingers, surfing like a wave on top of the strings, not going underneath. And the thumb, try not to go much deeper than the string, just 
gently brushing them aside and plucking from this large joint, not like that, because that's too much tension. All right, so that's the thumb. Let's do some fingers. So if we plant our thumb on the big string, we've got our curled fingers underneath. We can practice plucking individually, and we can also practice plucking them as a block, like a bunch of them together. So let's put all three fingers, fingers, the ring finger, the middle finger, and the first finger. So starting from the small string, the second string, the third string. These three strings are called the treble strings. See, I'm on top, not underneath. Relaxed, curled like a wave on top, the thumb on the big string. The thumb will be for the big strings, the three bass strings. These fingers will be for the three small treble strings. Three small, three big. Then we'll practice plucking these three small strings, but we'll, we'll let our thumb rest and kind of balance there. Remember the wrist is relaxed and loose. If you're tense or in pain, stop. <laughs> Shake it out. Gently place it. Thumb is holding. We're not going to squeeze, we're going to swing very gently. Imagine you were gentle enough not to, to hurt a baby chicken or something, you know, like a, a small little animal. Be very gentle. You can develop more power later, but power comes from speed and gentle swinging and sort of how we plant or place the pressure. But I don't want you to worry about pressure right now when you're first learning this. You want to be very relaxed with everything. Try to get that shape and position. It's almost like a C shape or Lego hands, but the thumb's a bit off to the side. Okay, one last time. The three fingers are going to pluck and see how they're swinging from the large knuckle. So it's a very soft, kind of like scooping sand. I'm trying to come up with as much beach analogies as possible. Surfing analogies. Just very relaxed. Plucking those three fingers. And I prefer to maybe call them um, swinging, because that's more the motion, right? And curled, scooping, relaxed. And we want to avoid squeezing, flexing, grabbing, or pulling the hand away, because that puts you out of position for the next pluck. So try, I mean, stylistically, sometimes you'll see people do that kind of cool trick, but that's not the point of this technique. This is we're just letting it hang relaxed on the string, and gently swinging and brushing those fingers in. So you can practice different combos of the fingers while you rest your thumb. And just repeat very gently brushing kind of the top of the strings. Like you're just sort of brushing the, dusting the top of a sandy surface or something. So you're not trying to grab or pull or pluck really hard. It's just kind of gently brushing the top of the strings in a curled swinging motion. So this video is all about sort of technique tips and holding the hand in a relaxed way for thumb on the three big strings and the curled fingers on the small strings. Eventually you can do individual um, of each of, of them and different combinations of all those fingers, but that's the mechanic of the motion that can work really efficiently. Relaxed wrist, thumb gently off to the side, plucking from the large joint, curled fingers swinging from the large joint. Very relaxed. Now you may start with large motions at first, just to get used to the training. And when we play slow, sometimes we have very large motions and we can get away with it. But as you go faster, it's very relaxed still, but we make smaller motions. So speed comes from small movements and relax, relaxation. 
and then a lot of repetitions. Honestly, probably hundreds of repetitions. It doesn't have to be in a day, but you know, if you can get a really relaxed motion and do a ton of repetitions, you're going to polish out your technique. Um, I think the challenge a lot of people have is they don't find a, a relaxed, efficient way of playing. They maybe have a poorly set up guitar um, that's difficult to play and they're maybe not getting enough reps in. So that three combo is probably something that makes a lot of people just quit and give up on guitar. And if you deal with those three things and address them in a way and whenever you feel pain, you stop immediately because I can play for hours and hours and I don't feel pain because I've set it up in a really comfortable way. Some guitars will hurt me though, honestly. So, um, yeah, we could talk for hours. But what I wanted to do was give a kind of more in-depth explanation on some of these finger-picking mechanics. All right, have fun, guys.